Ever found yourself puzzled by the term capital environment? Well, let's demystify that today. Capital environment is a fascinating concept that refers to the economic conditions that affect the ability of individuals, businesses, and governments to access and use financial resources. Think of it as the weather forecast for the financial world. Just as you would check the forecast before heading out on a trip, understanding the capital environment is key to navigating the financial landscape. A robust capital environment is marked by stable economic growth, low inflation, and low unemployment rates. It's like a sunny day offering easy access to credit and investment opportunities. Conversely, a weak capital environment can feel like a stormy day. Characterized by high inflation, high unemployment, and economic instability, making it challenging to secure funding for projects and investments. As we dive deeper, you'll realize that understanding the capital environment can be a game changer for your financial decisions. What does a strong capital environment look like, you ask? Picture an ecosystem of financial growth and stability, a place where economic conditions are ripe for investment and prosperity. A strong capital environment is akin to a well-tuned orchestra, where each instrument plays its part to create harmonious symphony. Let's delve into the characteristics of this symphony. First off, we have stable economic growth. This is a consistent and sustained increase in the gross domestic product which represents the total value of all goods and services produced over a specific time period. Stable economic growth signals a robust economy that is capable of generating wealth. Next we have low inflation. Inflation is the rate at which the general level of prices for goods and services is rising. When inflation is low, the purchasing power of money is preserved, fostering consumer confidence and encouraging spending. Then, we have low unemployment rates. When more people are working, more income is generated, and more money is available for investment and consumption. This in turn, fuels economic growth and creates a positive feedback loop of prosperity. These conditions weave together to create a conducive environment for easy access to credit and investment opportunities. Businesses can secure funding for expansion, and individuals can invest in their future. In essence, a robust capital environment creates a fertile ground for financial growth and prosperity, it's the sweet spot where individuals and businesses can thrive, innovate, and drive economic progress forward. On the flip side, there's the scenario of a weak capital environment. Picture a scenario where the economy is shaky, inflation is high, unemployment rates are soaring, and economic instability is the order of the day. This, my friends, is a weak capital environment. In such a situation, the purchasing power of money decreases due to high inflation. Imagine you're holding a $100 bill today, but tomorrow, it's only worth 90. That's the destructive power of inflation in a weak capital environment. High unemployment is another characteristic of a weak capital environment. When joblessness is rampant, individuals lack the means to invest or even meet their basic needs. This, in turn, reduces overall demand in the economy, further exacerbating the economic slowdown. Economic instability also plays a significant role. Uncertainty about the future of the economy makes businesses and individuals hesitant to invest or take on new projects. After all, who wants to put their hard-earned money on the line when the future looks uncertain? The culmination of these factors creates an environment where securing funding for projects and investments becomes a Herculean task. Lenders become more risk-averse, and the cost of capital increases, making it more expensive for businesses and individuals to borrow. In short, a frail capital environment can pose significant challenges to financial stability and growth. But what shapes the capital environment? Well, several key factors come into play. First off, let's delve into government policies. These can significantly influence the capital environment. For instance, if a government enacts policies that encourage investment and economic growth, that can strengthen the capital environment. Conversely, policies that restrict trade or investment can weaken it. Next up, we have global economic conditions. The interconnectedness of today's world means that an economic downturn in one country can have a ripple effect on the capital environment of other nations. Similarly, strong economic performance in a major economy can bolster the capital environment globally. Lastly, we can't overlook market forces, specifically supply and demand. When there's a high demand for capital and a low supply, it can become more difficult to secure funding. On the flip side, when there's a surplus of capital and less demand for it, access to funding can become easier. These are just some of the many factors that can influence the capital environment. Others may include technological advancements, geopolitical events, and even societal changes. Understanding these factors and how they interact is crucial. 
It's like having a weather forecast for the financial world. You can't control the weather, but knowing what's coming can help you prepare and make the best decisions possible. Knowing these factors can help one navigate through the ebbs and flows of the capital environment. Why should we bother about the capital environment? This question might have crossed your mind. Well, the capital environment is like the weather of the financial world. Just as you wouldn't go out for a picnic without checking the weather forecast, you shouldn't make financial decisions without understanding the capital environment. Understanding the capital environment helps individuals and businesses make informed financial decisions. For instance, in a strong capital environment, it might be a good time to invest or start a new business. However, in a weak capital environment, it might be wise to save and cut costs. But how do we adapt to the changing capital environment? Just like you'd carry an umbrella if the forecast predicts rain, you need to prepare for changes in the financial climate. This could mean diversifying your investment portfolio in times of economic uncertainty or taking advantage of low interest rates to finance a new project during a period of economic growth. Moreover, understanding the capital environment can help you navigate through economic challenges. It can guide you on when to take risks and when to be conservative. It can help you understand the market trends and make predictions about future economic conditions. In the end, knowledge of the capital environment is not just power, it's your financial compass in a sea of economic variables.